Madam Chair, Madam Speaker. I call Shane Retty. <laughs> Uh, Madam Speaker, it's truly a privilege to take a short call on this bill, an excellent bill from my colleague, Dr. Palmjeet Palmer, who I congratulate for getting through to this point. Um, Madam Speaker, the goal of this bill has been well enunciated, to increase newborn enrolment with general practitioners before the age of six months. And when you just stand back at that and look at it for a moment, you've got to say, why is the government voting this down? Just take it on its statement for what it is. Why is the government voting this down? Why is this not a good thing? The benefits have been clear, again well described, and they were well described through select committee as well. Early access to social services, housing, vaccination rates, and early collaboration with other professionals. Again, why is the government voting this down? Why is this not a good thing? Now, at first reading, David Clark called the bill toothless because, quote, and the quote's important here, there are no penalties for patients who do not do their part in this process on time. There are no penalties for patients who do not do their part in this process on time. That's an extraordinary statement. The minister wants punitive actions for patients who don't do as they're told. Surely this is a harbinger for other primary care initiatives this government is looking to deploy, and remember this mantra when they do. This will be the hook. There are penalties for patients who do not do their part in this process on time. I think the imposition of penalties is especially ironic when the government's removing sanctions from other social service areas, and yet the Health Minister on, is on record saying there should be penalties for patients who do not do their part in this process on time. Read it from the first reading. It's on record. That's what he's saying. It's exactly what he said. Yes, it is. I can show it to you here now. I'm not going to argue. Go and read it if you can read. The uh, next point is we've just heard from my colleagues and others espousing everything's OK. All is well. We've set health targets, 55% enrolment at six weeks, 85% at three months. And we're told that the ministry will be accountable for that through the DHB Accountability Frameworks and PHO Services Agreement. Well, several points. Am I just hearing health targets? Could that possibly be a health target? 55% at six weeks and 85% at three months? That sounds like a health target to me. But hang on, we're abolishing health targets. Could this be why we need it to be legislative? If we actually believe in health targets and we don't want this government to wave them away like they're doing in other areas, could this be why it needs to be legislative? We've also been told that the... Uh, Actions can also be done for newborn enrolment, and I'll read here clause 39 in the departmental report. Newborn enrolment is chosen by some DHBs as a contributory measure to support system level measure outcomes. SLIMS. Now hang on a minute, hasn't there been a recent report saying no one understands SLIMS and they don't work? But that's your answer to the bill? Something that no one understands and doesn't work just does not make Slim sense. I think a consistent theme was the burden on general practice, and I get that. I guess everyone in the House, I should get that, and I do get it. I can see parts of that. But there was a provision in this bill to cover that. That provision was Clause 6.3, which said, if the nominated general practice is unable to assist the family in finding another primary health care provider, it must refer the pre-enrolment request to the relevant DHB and primary health care organisation. There's a solution. She had already come up with a solution to what had been touted by a number of submissions as almost a fallover issue. Panjit Palmer had thought through the answer and it was in her bill. Look, in conclusion, the government's permission, uh, position is do nothing. It's working fine. Well, I'd suggest, no, it's not working fine. And this government has correctly, or truly, sucked all the imagination out of the room and is actually offering nothing. I'm very sad for newborns and I think this bill should proceed. I call Kiri Allen.